Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number eight. In this video, the puzzle solving technique called naked triples will be discussed. Consider the following Sudoku in progress. The process of finding naked triples can be time consuming and tedious. To be successful, you have to be patient. We will scan each of the 27 houses making up the Sudoku puzzle. We begin by first scanning the house making up row 1. When looking for naked triples, we only have to consider cells having two or three possible candidates. Row 1 already has a full house, so there can be no naked triples in the house making up row 1. We move to row 2. The first cell having only two and three candidates on row one is column one. The numbers three and five are our starting point. However, the numbers three and five are part of a naked double with another cell further down the row. Next, we continue scanning along the row looking for a cell that could possibly be part of a triple. We get to column five, which has only two candidates. However, the numbers 1 and 2 are also part of a naked double with a cell further down the row. We move to row 3. The first cell having only 2 or 3 candidates on row 3 is column 1. The numbers 3, 5, and 7 could be part of a naked triple. We look at the candidates in column 2 of row 3. The numbers 3 and 7 could be part of a naked triple with the first cell outlined. All we need now is to find a cell along the row that is either a 3, 5, and 7 in the cell, or a cell having a 5 and 7 as possible candidates to find a complete naked triple. However, when we look at the candidates in the cells further down the row, none of the numbers in the cells create a valid triple. If you are not sure what is a valid triple, in a Sudoku puzzle, refer to DX Sudoku training video number seven for a, a complete explanation on the different types of triples. We now shift our focus to the candidates in cell four of row three. The numbers one and three could be part of a naked triple. The next cell, column five, has four possible candidates, so that's not good. The next cell has a three, five, and eight, but these numbers don't help in finding a naked triple. And finally, column 7 has the numbers 1 and 2 as possible candidates. None of these four cells create any combination resulting in a valid naked triple. Since we find no valid naked triples on row 3, we move to row 4. We first look at column 2 on row 4, which has a 3, 7, and 9 as possible candidates. For us to find a naked triple, with 3, 7, and 9, we are looking for any cells having 3, 7, 3, 9, 7, 9, or 3, 7, 9 as possible candidates. However, there are no cells having these possible numbers in the rest of the row. Next, we focus on the column 3 of row 4, which has a 3, 7, and an 8 as possible candidates. For us to find a naked triple with 3, 7, and 8, we are looking for any cells having 3, 7, 3, 8, 7, 8, or 3, 7, 8 as possible candidates. We do find a cell having 7, 8 in column 7, but the cell in column 6 does not complete what we need for a naked triple. There are not enough cells remaining on row 4 to complete a naked triple, so now we take a look at the house making up row 5. The first two cells of row 5 have too many possible candidates to be part of a naked triple, so we begin by focusing on column 5 of row 5. We have the numbers 3 and 8 as possible candidates in the cell. The very next cell has the numbers 3, 8, 9, so we now have two cells needed for a naked triple. All we need now to complete a naked triple on the row is to find a cell having 3, 9, 8, 9, or 3, 8, 9 as possible candidates. And we do find a 3, 9 in column 9 on row 4. We have found our first naked triple. Because the numbers 3, 8, 9 can only occur in the three highlighted cells, all other cells having 3, 8, 9 as possible candidates can be removed. 
We have identified several cells having a 3, 8, and 9 as possible candidates that can be removed because of the naked triple we found in the house making up row 5. We remove the non-possible candidates from the house making up row 5. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Again, the process of finding naked triples requires patience. We will scan each of the 27 houses, making up the Sudoku puzzle. We begin with the house making up row 1. Since the row only has two cells having two or three candidates, there are not enough cells in the row to make a valid naked triple. Next, we look at row 2. Of the four highlighted cells having two or three possible candidates, no combination of the cells makes a valid naked triple. We now look at row 3, which does not have enough cells to make a valid triple. Row 4 has the same problem as row 3. There are not enough cells with only two or three possible candidates to make a valid naked triple. Row 5 has three cells capable of making a naked triple, but the numbers do not work. So the house making up row 5 does not have any naked triples. Same with row 6. There are three cells that could be part of a naked triple in row 6, but the numbers do not work. Again, the same thing with row 7. The numbers do not work. And again for row 8. There are three cells, but no valid naked triple. And finally, row 9 does not have any cells with only two or three possible candidates, so there is definitely no naked triple in this row. We continue our slog looking for naked triples by focusing on the house, making up column 1. And this time, we do find a naked triple in the house, making up column 1. As with all triples, the three candidates can only occur in the three cells, making up the triple, in the house in which the triple resides. The numbers 4, 5, and 6 can only occur in the three highlighted spots in the house making up column 1. To understand why, let's consider the logic implied by the three cells making up the triple. Say, for instance, the cell making up 5, 1 is the number 5. Then the other cells making up the triple become a naked double with the numbers 4 and 6. And say, for instance, the cell making up 5, 1 is the number 6, then the other two cells making up the triple become the naked double with the numbers 4 and 5. Because the numbers 4, 5, and 6 can only occur in the three highlighted cells, all other cells having a 4, 5, 6 as possible candidates in the house can be removed. We have identified a boatload of 4, 5, and 6 possible candidates that can be removed because of the naked triple we found in the house, making up column 1. We remove the non-possible candidates from the house, making up column 1. We immediately notice the cell 9, 1 has a naked single as a result of removing the non-possible candidates from our naked triple. We choose the value for the cell. Naked triples are pretty common and are very useful for eliminating non-possible candidates. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. As stated previously, when looking for naked triples, we have to scan all 27 houses, making up the Sudoku puzzle. First, we scan all the houses, making up the 9 rows. Then we scan all the houses, making up the 9 columns. And then we scan all the houses, making up each of the 9 blocks. In this Sudoku, we have scanned all the rows and have found no naked triples. We have scanned all the columns and have found no naked triples. But when we get to the house making up block 1, we find a naked triple. The three highlighted cells make up a valid triple for the numbers 1, 3, and 9. We have identified a number of non-possible candidates located in the house making up block 1 because of the highlighted naked triple. We have removed the non-possible candidates from the house making up block 1. We now see a naked single in the cell at row 2, column 1. 
We choose the value for the cell and we see a second naked single in the cell at row 2, column 3. We choose the value for the cell. Again, we see the value of finding naked triples. We eliminated lots of non-possible candidates from the house making up block 1 and we found two numbers needed for solving the puzzle. Before we begin testing, please make sure to click on the link below and make a generous donation so we can continue making DX Adoka videos. Time to test what you have learned. Consider this Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding the naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up row 8. We find a naked triple in the first three cells making up the house in row 8. Notice the positioning of this triple causes non-possible candidates to be eliminated from two different houses. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding the naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up block 1. We find a naked triple in the house making up block 1. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up row 7. We find a naked triple in the house making up row 7. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding a naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up column 3. We find a naked triple in the house making up column 3. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding the naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up row 3. We find a naked triple in the house making up row 3. Next, consider the following Sudoku in progress. Pause the video and see if you can find any naked triples in the puzzle. If you have not succeeded in finding the naked triple, pause the video again and take a closer look at the house making up row 3. We find a naked triple in the house making up row 3. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 8. Thank you for watching.